Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we are in EverQuest 2 with AC Gamer. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. And we are about to continue on where we left off. We, Before we go ahead and go to Mock Rent, we're actually going to go over here to these, um, these birdmen and uh, see what it is they have for us. And we're back over where we kind of been doing all our quests, for those of you who may not uh, recognize the area, right here along the beach, which is uh, fairly kind of cool. Because we just came over here, didn't we, just uh, not too long ago, and saw all these <laughs> yeah. guys, and we're like, what are they used for? And now we're actually doing a quest for them, so I like that. Yep. So, an entire story there, kind of want to read it, but I'm, I'm going to leave it there, and we'll come back to <laughs> yeah. it at, at a later date. But yeah, it's kind of cool that they, uh, you know, are progressing with all the stuff here Let's see we got a note apparently <laughs> that I, I can't find um, oh by the way let's go ahead and um, use oh there's a new um, augmentation ap application system oh is there Appl yeah so whenever you right click it uh, to apply it Gives you a list of what you can actually add it to. Oh, um, well, that's that's a little bit easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen this one right here. Yeah, I've never seen that before. And you can manually choose it if you want to go back to the old school way of doing it, or you can, uh, you know, just click it on one of those items there. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to wait because those are, um, those uh, evoker versions for me are not the versions that we're going to be getting. So I might I might save it for a little bit more. And I think we need to go back into the town, right, to turn this one in? <laughs> yeah, do you remember where it's actually at? Uh, somewhere in there on the <laughs> second floor, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is going to be a little little thing. We promised you guys we're going to be going to Monk Rent. We will still be going there, <laughs> yeah. but we don't want to leave any quests behind. So we're going yep. to see if we can figure where to turn this in. Of course, we are still leaving a few of them behind, such as the trade skill ones. But yeah. those are completely optional, and you can do those at pretty much any city at any time and come back to them. So if you don't want to do the ones here, you can do them over in High Pass or, you know, High Keep or Hollis or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, but um, definitely will at some point be doing those myself uh, just because I like to do the crafting in this game. It's uh, It definitely allows you to be able to create anything at the high end uh, without having to go on raids, uh, you should be uh, able to at least gear yourself to a point that uh, you can go on those raids if someone invites you. Yeah. Just through the stuff that you make. Me, on the other hand, I probably will not be doing it on this character except for <laughs> just show. Uh, because I have seven other characters who are level 90 and they all have their max trade skills. So I don't know if I have it in me to do it again. Like, <laughs> it takes a while to get to that point. And once you get up to like the high 50s to 60 in your trade skill, it slows down dramatically, like a lot. Oh, yeah. And just, yep. uh, it's a lot of hours you have to put into it. He's over here somewhere, probably underneath us. Yeah. On the next floor. But yeah, it, it does take a little while. It's very enjoyable the very first few times you do it because there's so many different ones to do. You can do your uh, cooking, you can do scribe, which will make spells, you can do uh, metalworking, furniture. Furniture was one of the ones that is the least useful to most people but highly enjoyable i love doing furniture because yeah. i just i like doing the house oh and he actually has another quest what do we gotta do this time i don't know let's see i need to return for, oh so we need to go back to that guy again okay let's go further down because that was easier to get back out you can actually yeah. uh float yourself down there can yeah. i can i jump into the water is it close enough yeah yep. i think it might be Whee! Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, wow. This <laughs> Did dude. You die? No, 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 I made it. This dude is freaking nuts. I would never make that jump in real life if, unless I had to. <laughs> that is just uh, way, way, way too deep. Okay, let's see. How do I get out of here? Let's go straight over here. But yeah. yeah I think you need to swim to here, and it'll allow you out. Hopefully. Maybe. Like Actually, that's a taller cliff than I thought it was. Maybe over here at this uh, platform? Yeah, I saw the platform over there, but it was a little further away. Figured I'd go ahead and try to cheat and get up someplace where I'm not supposed to. Yeah, and I was able to get up on here pretty easy. This kind of uh, water right here where it's like uh, it's real deep and real clear, that's the kind of water that I love to swim in, especially with 
like underwater stuff going on that is just beautiful absolutely oh. i just miss everything where's the teleporter it's uh, oh it's on the here. opposite side yep oh you're way over there yep i really think we're going around uh, the opposite ways oh there's oh, okay. frogs there's frogs over here yeah but you don't have to go back up the teleporter because we actually want to be down here Oh yeah, we we can go straight out to the docks, right? Yeah, it's going to be the, pretty much the same distance. If you go up to the top, you will have to load first, and then of course you'll have to run out the city and down the ramp. If you go out through the docks, you'll have to go out this way, take a left, and run around the side of it. So either way, it's still kind of a a nice little uh, run for you. Yeah, I'm ready to get our third set of armor because that's whenever we should get a different looking set. Boy, you don't and like the the brown leather? <laughs> What's wrong with that? You mean, you mean the stuff that we would normally not be able to wear on a uh, on normal EverQuest because yeah. it's not um, cloth? Well, technically, it is cloth in this one. It just has the illusion of your uh, your brown leather. So yeah, which is unique. I mean, if you want to be a caster, there are sets of gear out there that you can wear just for looks alone. Like they have literally no stats to them whatsoever, but they look like uh, still. So yep. you, you can have that on there if you want. It gives everybody the option to really tweak out their guy however you want. Some people like that, you know, and some people don't. The purists who are like, you know, casters should not be wearing armor. It's just one of the things they should <laughs> not be able to do. Uh, I think casters should be able to wear armor if they are willing to negate all of their mana, you know? Yeah. And they have to choose. Did we go the wrong way? No. Uh, uh, still we're going the right way. Yeah, so they should have to choose, you know, do I want to lose 90% of my power for the extra protection and I'll still be weaker than any other warrior out there or do I want to just stick with my my uh, gear that I am supposed to have? And that really allows the player oh. to um, really I'm make sorry. that decision. I can't resist. What, killing this guy? <laughs> yeah, it's the same way. I was coming over here to kill this guy as well. It's, it's a, you know, addiction, guys. Kill every name that you see every single time you see it. It's the only way you're going to level that skill up in transmuting as fast as you need to. Yep. Because every time we loot these, we may not be able to transmute them now. It's like when we were selling, I was looking, oh, I could sell all this stuff, but then I wouldn't be able to um, transmute it later. I'd yeah. have to go farming again. And I think I probably will have to go farming again a little bit at the lower level area just well, for what, one or two items so I can get to ten. Well, once we get to um, once we get to the mainland and common lands, we can go to the um, the place where all the orcs are. That that little dungeon. Oh, and, the, the cave or whatever. Yeah, and it drops the stuff um, that you need. Oh, and we have a quest with a book or a feather on it. Jeez, if we were reading this quest right here, guys, this would be you know like an hour long. That is a lot of freaking text. A lot of text. Yeah, it is. And we need to go back to him again? Jeez, these guys have us on a little, you know, run yeah, mission back and forth. Hopefully it's, it's going to give us something worth worth doing this quest for. Pat on the back, I think, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually all you get in these situations, but, uh, yep. you know, in real life. But in the game, sometimes they give you something really oh, good. Is there another person up here that we have to talk to? You have to talk to all four of them several times. Oh, oh I Oh, I thought I'd talk to all of them. Okay, I gotta talk to this guy again. So they made a decision, but I think <laughs> I their their time is for peace. So <clears throat> I think their de their decision is to go ahead and uh, call a truce between these guys. But it, it's almost as if we shouldn't be doing this quest until we've killed all of them <laughs> in uh, Monk Rent. Well, those guys over there technically are like insane versions of them, and yeah. they're they're actually at war with the. Uh, what are those big, uh, disgusting-looking guys with no face? The uh, Throms. The Throms, or... yeah, Thums or whatever they're called. Yeah. And that's what those uh, guys are at war with over there, and technically they're not making a peace treaty with us. They're making a peace treaty with these guys. Like we're just the that's true. the go-between. So yeah, technically yeah. they're not attacking us right now but they will be later on they don't give a crap about us they're just we're, we're caught yep. in the middle here and we're just the mediators for them for now for now because we're able to go in between yep jesus is a please tell me that there's not a uh, another quest well i don't know i haven't gotten back yet i'm almost there 
take me another minute or so to get through all these and it has to be directly right in the center of the freaking town it's not at the top it's not at the bottom it's on the middle layer of their town so you can't come in from either exit or entrance and get there any quicker i don't think so there is okay oh oh that probably was not a great idea did you jump ah uh, i did and you missed it <laughs> you missed it oh, almost by far <laughs> by far where you at there you are. Oh, I'm about to do the... Zoning thing? Yeah, zone upwards. Yep, that's the last one for his right there, guys. So, we promised mock rent. It took us about 10 minutes to get there, but we're <laughs> almost there now, guys. Almost there. Well, did he give a, uh, give you anything worth doing that quest other than um, a little bit of coin? Oh, yeah. He, uh, he gave me a pat on the back, and he said, thank you. Uh, we appreciate <laughs> all the effort that you put into it, and uh, don't make me kick you on the way out, so... Yep. That, that's pretty much all he gave me, guys. 16 silver, 25 copper, and we got uh, 68 experience into AA. Oh, I did it again. I oh, I saved myself that time. <laughs> oh, did you manage it's, to jump on the right one? It's always oh, forced to have it. I um I actually was um there you are. jumping from too far away, but I was able to get right back on where I left off. All right. Let's yep. See if Good old 18 silver. Politician guys, what do you expect? <laughs> cheap, cheap guys. The ones um, you... This, Go ahead. This glowing um, uh, rave cave <laughs> looks interesting. Glowing cave. Oh, yeah. I wonder what's down here. I've never been down here before. Let's go check it out. Oh, hey. It leads right down to the, uh, to the docks. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that would have been a lot faster had we known about that before we finished the quest. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we find it out when we don't need it anymore. Well, there you <laughs> go, guys. That is the way you should be coming down, back and forth, back and forth. And, of course, yep. if you can fly with a flying mount, which you should not have yet, but if you have one of those, uh, that's definitely a way for you to kind of get up there a little faster as well. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you want to take, the, uh, take it from the docks, right? We can do it over here. Can we? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, but there's a quest. Uh, was there not a quest with the the guy at the one station? I'd well, we can do it from here. We can... Well, Hello. Man. Let's see. Hello. Uh, Gowan oh, Beach? Nope. No? He's not here. Yeah, we have to nope. go back to the other mm -hmm. one. Yep. Huh. Should fly to Makra, and it shows that that guy has uh, the ability to get there except he doesn't have the ability to get there yeah that's misleading that would uh, definitely tick some players off and feel like they're doing something wrong well it's um you can go from there to uh, you can go from mock rent to there but you can't go from there to mock rent well yeah but then, then you shouldn't tell people that you can but put a little dot there yeah. You're going to have uh, new players kind of coming into the game and being like, what am I doing wrong here? Although, to be honest, if you did the quest in the right order, they do fly you right back over there so that you can just, you know, click on the little, little guy that's right next to you and just kind of zone over really quickly. So, yeah. I, I say zone over, but it's still in the same zone. That's what I'm saying. These zones are huge. There is a lot to them. And that reminds me of EverQuest 1 in that, in that sense, that it's just massive in size. And I like that. I know it causes lag issues and the servers have to, you know, work overtime and there's a lot of reasons for not doing it, but I've played plenty of new MMOs out there where the zones are really, really small and you're constantly having to zone and load screen and it reminds me of like the Sega CD where it was just like, oh, another zone, ah, oh, another zone. My whole day is filled with zoning instead of with like playing the game, so. Wait a minute, are those different? The uh, same ones I have, but they're pretty nice ones. Seven Intel, eight stamina. Yeah. So let's come Better up here. Better than the ones that we just got from that quest. Oh, really? Yeah. I think. Greetings. Let's see. Mokrin, right there, guys. We're definitely going to be flying over there. And this is one of my favorite places in this zone just because there's going to be so much stuff to do. So much. Look at yeah. it. You guys can see it down there already. It wasn't too far away from where we were at. In fact, I think you could probably run over to it if you uh, if you knew the right way to get there, which is right yeah. across. But we would be going through a lot of mobs that are higher than us. Yeah, the high-level place is right here on the edge. 
the low level place is right there on the inside which is where it's gonna fly us right to there's the temple right there guys oh yeah we got to check that out a yep. lot of stuff in there skeletons i think yeah skeletons is yep. primarily what you're gonna find yeah, right in that at one. the top here is uh where the name is there's gorillas as well you, you can actually do a quest where you bring something to the the head gorilla and he gives you a gorilla pet yeah it's it's slavery uh, is basically the way that that quest works out <laughs> unfortunately i mean yeah. me and hydras was going through that quest we were actually reading it and we're like holy crap like we killed we killed the baby's father and then sold the kid off into slavery and uh you know bought it from the mother or something weird like that and we we're just like yeah. wow talk about storylines that just you know hopefully you <laughs> skip that one you don't even realize it because that was just you know that's pretty rough yeah. on that but it's interesting that they you know gave a whole thing to it so let's see we're gonna grab all of these quests as, as once and there's yep. so many of them guys Hello. so many and if your quest journal if you do this you go into an area and you grab all the quests you possibly can and you leave it before you finish that area off and then go to another area with like a group of friends where there's Hello. equally as many quests to pick up you may not have enough room in your quest journal for all those quests you may have to go in there and remove some of them delete them and then come back later on and and get the other ones otherwise you may have to do them one at a time and that really sucks so be very yeah. cautious with you know what quest you pick up and know which ones you're going to do and which ones you probably won't ever do well i know for kunark i did all the quests and that was the first time that i actually spent well other than here at at um Greetings, on traveler. these islands um, I, I did every quest in, uh, in Kunark just because Hello. they were all great quests and, and they led you down a great lore path and just I was, uh, really nice. But some of the zones that I'd like us to check out that, that I haven't Hello. done, um, are the, uh, butcher block area and all that kind of place. Oh yeah. So yeah. I never did those. I never did any of those quests. Yeah. The butcher block place is uh, pretty good. And of course, if you guys see on the map, there are a few other feathers. The feathers are actually upstairs and along the edge right here. I'll, I'll show you how to get up there real quick. But I don't really think we need to pick up those. I guess we could. We got space for it. But yeah. the quest for those guys aren't going to be down here. They're going to be further up. But, yeah, in case you were kind of wondering, you're like, where are those feathers? They can't find them. Where, where are they at? Yeah, they're right up here along this wall. It kind of blends in fairly, fairly well, and you, you can miss it pretty easily I, I did that uh, the first yeah. time i came over here i was like Where, how do you even get up there and i was trying to jump across the the make-believe bridge over there where the, all the gorillas are and seeing if i could find my way up <laughs> that way and you know, it just kind of Crazy. eluded me that this was it yep there we go wow that's a lot of freaking text Crazy. Crazy. Just, a, just a little um do we have to kill the panthers and Outs in one of those quests outside yeah yeah I'm, i think we do eventually i don't know if we have it on the, the quest now if you click on the npc you should see a little feather pop up um you know above it are you talking about the ones up here though oh no i haven't done i haven't picked these ones up yet let's jump down yeah baby Woo! almost hit those rocks that would have been a bad day <laughs> my, guy, my guy is short enough as it is does not need to lose a few inches there Let's see. I think I got everything there. There is another one out here, right? Yeah, I think over to the left. Yeah, the that's outside. probably the first one we should do. The ones further down. Um, the one that wow, that is so weird. You jump off right into the ceiling, pretty much. Um, the one that's yeah, where you're at right now. That quest line is gonna be in deal with the Greasy. throngs downstairs, I believe. Greasy. Yeah, because I think you have to pick up the baskets or something like that. It's one of the lowest ones here. That you'll pick up. Yep. A lot of people will miss it. They won't go down there and they won't see that there's, you know, stuff to pick up. And I think it is the baskets, actually. I need to yeah, kill the baskets, 10 throngs. And also there's the, um, the guys, the, these, uh, these guys that are laying on the ground. The Sarnax. The ones that are laying on the ground. I don't see any on here yet. Must um, be, uh, further in. Oh, the ones that are trapped in here? Uh, yeah, they they're um, they're knocked out. Oh, okay, yeah. Do you see them? Yeah, a little further in. You have to kill a few of these guys. Now, keep in mind, though, guys, these things do have faction. You will get faction with them later on, 
don't worry about it now. You're not taking any faction hits from killing these. But uh, you don't want to kill some of the other ones that are further in that do have a faction hit. Especially yeah. after you start doing the quest. Like, before you do the quest, I think it's fine. You're not going to have to really worry about it too much. But once you start doing the quest, you're going to want to make sure that faction is uh, something you don't want to ruin. You don't want to kill creatures that are kindly to you because it's going to mess things up for you later on. Let's yep. see. I got three out of that one. I got three out of the next one. I must be getting some kind of updates from you. Yep. Oh, look at that, officer. What happened there? What was that? Takes possession of the Sadian Sword of... Can I click on it? Oh, wow. Somebody got their mythic. Oh, was it? Yeah, right there. I'll link it to... Um, yeah, link it in group. There we go. Right there. Yeah, it's not bad. Of course, if you look at it, the stats on it kind of suck, but that's because we're looking at it from our level. Yeah. When you get to level you know, 90 or 100 or whatever the level requirement was on that one, you will start to see the stats that actually exist on there. By the way, um, this is the mythical, um, the, the mythical 1.0, and uh, if I remember correctly, I may be wrong, uh, because there's the fabled version, there's the mythical version, and then there's the quest that you have to do in Paneal that gives you the spell that you can use on any weapon. Or am I incorrect? Uh, no, I mean, you're right where there's multiple levels to the epics and then the mythicals, and they take a lot of time to get. Although maybe now you could probably do them with like one person, solo it and stuff, but it used to be you needed like a full group, a full raid gear uh, to do it. As far as like taking the spell off of it, that is a, uh, a possibility. I did that with my warrior epic. Uh, the yeah. spell itself was more worthwhile than the weapon. And so yep. a lot of people will just get the the spell effect for their warrior. I forgot what it was. I think it was like a taunt or a buff or something like that. Pretty uh, valuable for warriors regardless, uh, the guardians that I have. But uh, the guild, that they went in there and they, they basically got it within like two hours of starting it. Yeah. From like start to finish all the way through. And that was... Well, when max level part, was like 70 or 80. The hard part is when you have to do that last raid where you have to... Well, actually, there's multiple hard parts. The two hard parts are first getting down to Nagafen to learn the dragon language. And then the second part is going in and doing that dungeon where the Medusas are. You have to keep um, pulling her to the pool. And when she's about to do something, you jump into the pool so that um, you don't take damage from her. Um, it's uh, tactics that you have to use <laughs> following you're going all over the place. <laughs> uh, I was just looking at the the book that's on the screen. I'm like, oh, he must not be here. He's, he's further up. I think he's all the way at the very yeah. top. But yeah, I mean, yeah. some of them are hard, but then you also got to keep in mind that as levels go up and gear gets better, some of these tricky pulls, people just run into the room and solo everything. Oh, yeah. You know, like where it used to one-shot people, the guy is literally taking on 15 mobs that would Especially give... warriors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they just, they're insane. They do so much, uh, you know, absorption when it comes to damage that they yep. barely even take a scratch. Although they have tons of hit points, so when they do take a scratch, it takes a long time for their life to go back up, which can yeah. be, you know, kind of a bad thing if you don't have a healer Crazy. or something next by. Well, they're, I mean, when you get to the point, what? That's not the person, apparently. You didn't get this one? Right. Oh, maybe you doing, you, did you turn it in? Yeah, I just turned this one in. Did you, you must not? Must have turned it in for me, because I now see another quest down there. Apparently. Let's see. There's one more quest over here. Or I'm trying to figure that out. Oh, wait a minute. I'm confused on why I'm not seeing that other quest. Because I definitely got that quest before we went down there. Did you finish it? I mean, there might have been, uh, you might have missed maybe one mob or something. I mean, look. No, it. We got to go down there anyway, not so. Not even registering. Yeah. Let's see. Can I. I can share with you Tomorrow's Deep. Do you remember what the name of that quest was? Uh, no clue. It was the one that we just did was uh, the one that you just turned in was killing those um, those throms, right? The chain of command. That's the only thing we did down there. Uh, Mukrin throm beads. 
Yeah, I've, I've completed it, I believe. Oh, so right. you already have that one, Mountain Thrones. There you go. How about that one? Yeah. Oh, you're already on that quest. You haven't finished that one yet. How, what is it called? Um, Mountain Thrones? Yeah, Mountain Thrones. Oh, I need to kill one more. Yeah, I figured that's what it was. You were just a little bit too far away when I killed one. But that's yeah. right. We gotta we gotta kill these guys down here, anyways, for a little bit more. Did he offer me another quest? Do you remember if I picked another one up? Cause um, I do not know because I couldn't see the quest. Okay, well, you might want to kill one more and then run back up and grab it or yeah, turn it in. Yeah, because I know there's gonna be two down here. There's the one for the baskets and there's the one for the the uh, warriors that are laying on the ground. I have both right now. Do you have both? Nope. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and kill this throng and. It should update me. Wow, I have all kinds of new spells that nice. I haven't been paying attention to. Which one do you, which <laughs> one do you have right now? You have the uh, the guy down here, or the one up there, the little oh. spice. Uh, I just finished that. Uh, the uh, the one we just um, by killing that guy. So let me go turn that in. Okay, I'll go ahead and, and pick then some I'll come back for the spices. Pick some of these up. I just wanted to see if it was group update, so we can get them while we were both here, but. I'll just yeah. uh, keep going, and hopefully by the time you get back, these things will have respawned. They're actually pretty quick, guys. They have a, a decent respawn rate on some of these items. Some of the game, or some of the items in the game do not. Some of them will take like 20, 30 minutes to respawn, and people will get very upset if they're sitting there waiting for it, and you happen to run on by and just snag it. So yeah. be kind of cautious about it. If you see somebody sitting there in an area that you're doing a quest in, and it seems like maybe they're looking after the same mob, best bet just ask them because uh yeah. you know if you ask them and be like hey what, what are you looking for and they don't reply to you then when you snag the item there's there's nothing really they can say about it. i mean they can blast you and be like oh you guys are punks you stole the thing but if you didn't reply you didn't reply you know there's there's nothing i can do about it i can't read your mind i can't know you're not afk doing something else so yeah just give them right. a heads up and hopefully they will reply to you and be like yeah that's what i'm going after but you can have it after i do or whatever the case is Okay, we're going to kill some more guys, kind of clear the way for Cypher when he gets back over here. We yep, need, I'm already uh, down here. Are the baskets back? Um, uh, not the baskets, but I see a basket at least. Okay, there's several of them down here, so we can clear all the way over here as well. Let's see. I'll, I'm going to let you loot this uh, the soldier that's right next to me, and I want to see if we get a group update with that. Because I, okay. I still need a couple uh. more of those. I believe, uh, don't see it there on the screen, I'll have to look when we get an update, see which quest that is for, it's one of the downsides to having so many quests, is that you just don't know what, uh, what the name of the quest that you're working on is, you just know that it, it's something you need. How many do you have of those, uh, of those guys? Of the guys? I think I only picked up one. Okay. I don't know how many we need though, so, I still have a hand that I can pick them up, so. Did you get an update? No. Okay. I did now, you though. still be able to click the same guy, though. Yeah. The baskets, oh, well. however, will disappear. How yeah. How many more baskets do you need? Uh, that was the first one. Okay, you got two more over here. I'll go ahead and kill. Yeah, there's actually four over there next to those two guys. There's a named over here, too. I didn't notice. Oh, is there? Yeah, right here. I don't think I've ever killed this guy. Never seen that guy before. Never come down this far. I don't think I've ever gone to the end because there's no reason. You get all the things that? you need long before you get there, so... Nice. I have a new thing that uh, from oh, that's interesting. Not exactly what we need, but I bet he drops an oh. Intel version of that as well. Yeah. Um. I got a new attack apparently. Let's see if what it does. Oh yeah. What kind? What kind of attack? Like a spellcasting um, or? Oh, uh, it's a melee attack. It looks like. Really? Yeah. It's a one of my AAs. Not something that I would probably would have chosen. I was going to say, you're getting a lot of AAs. That's kind of, or not a, is it AAs or uh, area effect spells? Uh, AAs. Oh, AAs. Yeah. Um, I have the auto AA thing going. Yeah, um, for group? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm at 29 AAs. How I many do you have? I like the fact that uh, they set it up for you so that you can just do, like, group thing. I have... Do, 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 do. Where does it show you? It's under L. Mm, alternative advancements. 
points in summer advancements. 100 out of 100. That's not right. Do what? Mm, I do not see how many A's I have. 29. There we go. Yep, 29. Jeez. Wow, there's all kinds of these spice clams over here with this named... <laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty good spot, especially considering you get some loot out of it wow. as well. That was instant respawn. What the names? No, the the, um, the baskets. Um, they were it's respawn pretty fast. All right, I have these. Do how how about the guys? How many do we have left? I only have two, so I need three more. But I figured I'd check down here at the end. Oh wow, look how many baskets are over here. We got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if you're doing this with a group, this and the name spot would be the place to come because you're going to get tons and tons of baskets without having to wait for them to repop. So I'm kind of digging the fact that they put that towards the end so that uh, single players yeah. wouldn't have too much. They wouldn't get overwhelmed. They would just be like, oh, this is an easy quest. Ooh, that guy is red and he is ready to attack. Ooh. Where Which is one? this? I'm all the way down at the at? the end of the uh, the tunnel. If you come yeah. out on the other side, I'm, be, I'm on my way. You gotta be very very. Oh, yeah, I've never come down here, so this could be a part of the map that uh, oh, I love the surf though. I love the sound of that. Let's look out here, guys. What is over here? Of course, I'm on like the dangerous side. I wonder if there's oh, there's cliff. It looks like it's a um. Oh, I know exactly where we're at. Are we further in than we're supposed to? Oh, uh, this, yeah, this is the end. This oh, okay. This is the last area. This is the place where they're having the war going on? Yeah, I think this is, if I'm Oh, correct. yeah, right up that hill. Yep. I think you're right. This is the other side of the cave. So these guys will love us eventually. These will be yep. the guys who are on our side. So I won't, I, you don't want to kill those guys. Those guys nope. will probably give you faction hits. So we just need three more uh, of those those fallen soldiers. How many do you need? Um, let me see. I, it's hard for me to tell in the actual. Because there's so many of them. Yeah, we got so many for yeah quests right now. Clams. Is it our fallen? I what... don't know the name of it. Let me look. I told myself I was gonna look last time and I didn't. <laughs> I'll just see if I can find another one of the soldiers and click on it and and see what the the name of the quest is then. But yeah, this is a kind of a newbie tunnel, guys. There's not a whole lot of quests here. You're going to go through this area pretty oh. quickly. What's up? Oh, no. I um, I moved to the wrong way. I'm not seeing any more guys back here to click. No. That, that one guy that's already there, we've already clicked on. So we need to come over to the other side. It does look yep. like there's one or two over here on this side that, uh, that maybe we have not gotten yet. Wow, oh, these guys are dying so quickly. Yeah. See if we can skirt by the wall and not get hit by these guys. I do love the fact that some of this area is shallow and some of it's deep enough for you to swim in. Kind of adds yep. a an illusion like this is real. You know, like this is an actual lake. It is pulsating and it's going up and down with the shore. But that's because the current is so strong being pushed in from the ocean outside. That, uh, yeah. Oh, Griffin. there you go. <laughs> I gotta use mine. There we go. And one thing oh. to, to keep in mind, though, guys, is that... The griffin will last as long as the enemy does. So if you're fighting three or four creatures, put the griffin on the one that you're not fighting and leave him there and he'll continue to attack that cr that creature the entire fight until you finally do, you know, switch over and kill it. Because he's not going to kill it on his own. He's, he's really, really weak. But it will last longer and it will look cooler. So that's, you know, one tactic you can use. I yeah. Don't. Oh, we can. Uh, did you get these two guys? I got uh, both of them on the way in. It hasn't respawned except for this one oh. over here has. So I can get this one again. Yeah, there's two over here that I'm next to. Okay, so I got all five that I need. Okay, me too. Go ahead and take this guy off of you real quick. There we go. And as you guys can see, he is speaking a language we cannot understand. You kill enough of these guys, they will eventually drop the item just like every other mob out there does that will allow yep. you to start understanding what they're speaking. Again, this is pretty much the only time you're really going to be able to kill them. Later on, you're going to get faction with them, so I would suggest doing that now if you get a chance. Although, don't they actually give you a quest for that when you're getting yeah. allied with them? I think they actually do for this, uh, this certain class, so that may not have to be a thing for you. Yep. <laughs> Jeez, the water is so low, and yet 
completely goes over my head because of how short I am. <laughs> Coming over here with my guardian, it goes up to like my ankle. So that gives you a, an idea of just how tall that guy is compared to this dude. I think I, I think I wield weapons that are four or five times larger than my entire guy put together right now. So, yeah, it's it's a nice little change. It's it's different. <laughs> Let's see, we're gonna get some experience there. Oh, and another quest. Let's see. I think we do. are going to. Uh, this is this quest that we're about to do is counterintuitive to um to the fact that we will be nice at some point. <laughs> Bye. By poisoning the water, I think is what we're doing now. Do we have one more to turn it over here? Well, yeah, nope. yeah, I guess it is. But you know, the least we can do is poison it, and then later on when we become allies, just be like, "Hey, by the way, somebody poisoned Sorry that water about that, over guys. there." <laughs> don't don't drink that Wait. water, dude. Right yeah. <laughs> so we'll, we'll at least know right what's enough. going on. Yeah. Let's see, we need some gorilla pelts. Okay, we can do that. Yep, and we we need to kill the gorillas long enough to get babies, um, <laughs> to where they drop the babies. Yeah, that's um, the way you said that. We got to kill them long enough before we can get some babies out of them. It reminds me of like <laughs> Indiana Jones when they cut that snake open. Yeah, and there's even more snakes inside. Yep, and it's like a delicacy. I'm like, nope, you're you're welcome to all the delicacy you can have. <laughs> It may not be good for you, and I don't like it, but I'll take a Big Mac over eating that. That just, uh, <laughs> probably good for you, though. I just, uh, I could not eat a snake. Not not still alive. I, you know, any kind of other snake, rattlesnake, uh, delicious. It's absolutely fantastic, but I'm not going to, you know, take a bite out of it while it's still squirming. Yep. Let's see. Teleports target to Caster. Caster's pet. Okay. I was going to say, that would be nice if I got a, uh, a teleport for you. I can just kind of pull you to where I'm at if we ever get uh, lost. Actually, I have one that I think I can teleport to you. There Reach is a, there. I think, a 10-year reward or 11-year reward that allows you to do just that. Yeah, and but it has... that's one that's an hour race, uh, reuse. And it's for um, going from zone to zone instead of within the same zone. Well, I was going to say it. Caster to a target. Okay, so I'm going to click on you. Uh, uh, click on you. <laughs> <laughs> and. There's like the, the 11 year oh, reward. You're in, you're in battle. Okay, hold, hold on one second. I'll finish it here. Yeah, there's like yeah. the 11 year reward one that does that. And then there's the 12 or 13 year reward one that uh, has another one that gives it to you. And I think that one can teleport within the same zone. So, okay. Yeah, I am out of combat. I think it's because of the fact that I'm a wizard that I get this ability. Is it working? Um, yep. It's actually zoning me out and then zoning me back in. Really? Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice. That's actually fantastic. Of course, uh, you can just teleport to me. You can't teleport me to you, right? Right. Okay. So somehow I have to still get there, and then you can kind of come in easy mode and, and finish it up. But yep. that's still nice. That means if we get, uh, and, you know... Up here on the top, we need to go up there as well because there is a named up there. But I was going to say, that is kind of nice because if we ever get separated, at least we can find each other somehow. You yeah. Know? Let's see, go a little further uh, up. It's a 12-hour reuse. Holy crap, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, we okay. need these little plants, right? Do we? Nope, these are the wrong ones. I think that might be for a later quest, actually, after we kill the named. Yeah. And I don't even know if we have the quest to kill the name just yet. But again, you guys know how addicted we are to shinies and names. Names, so yeah. We like to show you where they're all at. Some of you guys may not be familiar with the zone. and Unless you happen to come all the way up here for some weird reason, which is because there's a quest that sends you up here. But any other reason besides that, you may not be aware that there is a named up here. If we can find him, where is he at? Uh, it's going to be on the next hill. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah there it is. Queen. Queen is going down, guys. Level oh, 14. Wait a oh, never mind. I thought I saw a shiny. I got distracted. And she is a quest as well. Do we have to just kill her or do we have to cast something on her? Uh, no. I, I think it's a kill quest. Okay, let's see. But oh. she does count for panthers. So we'll go ahead and grab oh, that. Oh, there's that thing. The it's bobble. Yep. Mm, seven wisdom, seven intelligence, seven stamina, not bad. Level 10, so still a little bit too high for you to transmute 
if your uh, transmutation or whatever is not uh, quite up to the next tier. And I think mine's at 7 and yours is at 8. And I think you have to be at level 10 before you get to the next tier. We might be wrong. They might have to go all the way up to level 20. But I think it's yeah. level 10. So we got all the panthers that we need. Let's come over here. And what do we need to get? Skeletons? Um, uh, I think not these skeletons. We don't want to touch these ones. Well, they have feathers on them. We can get, we oh, can kill them. They're yeah. historians. But, um... Do you want to check these, out the temple? Uh, well, yeah, let's do the temple because the reason we don't want to do these ones is because there's a quest that these things take a while to respawn and... Oh, wait a minute. Skeleton bush. Nope, that's not the kind we need either. I'm trying to look at what one we need. I know there's little flowers uh, over here that you can pick up later on for a quest. They're, they're kind of hard to find. There's not very many of them. And there are these little tiny little flowers that I'm standing right next to over here, guys. These are... Uh, they're all over the place over here. But anywhere else yeah. in the zone, they're really, really hard to find. So kind of keep an eye out for them, see where they're at, and then you'll know. But I am looking forward to going to this thing. So what side should yeah. we take on? Should we go to the bottom, or what do you, how do you want to do this? Um, we should probably go to the top to see if the name is up. So uh, by going up one of these ramps here. Uh, yeah. Right. And then that way we can not only get the quest done, but we can also get, um, get a name. Right, and I like the fact that they have a voice. Yeah. Oh, one out of 15, so we're going to be killing a lot of these guys regardless. This is going to be good. Yeah. This is going to be good. Okay, so there's a second tier. I wonder if there's anything on there. We'll have to come back out here and check out the edges. Uh, yep. Okay, we got two guys up here at the very top. We don't yeah. understand them either. That's uh, another let's go language. Let's get these other two right here, just you think, because. You think so, man? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because of the AoE, oh, AoE niceness. Well, your AoE niceness, mine uh, quite <laughs> isn't there yet. Oh, wow, look at this, guys. This is beautiful up here. And to think, you know, a lot of people will go through this entire zone without ever even checking this out. Yeah. Okay, these guys are dead, man. We were just decimating these things. Oh, is that the name over there? The uh, the Grim yeah, Reaver? Yeah, we want to kill everything around him before we actually try to take him on. Like he's only yellow? So, yeah, so we, I mean, you don't want to pull everything uh, that's near him and this stuff. We can do it. <laughs> <laughs> we got to give ourselves a challenge. See if we can. Okay, let me, uh, let me pull this guy over here just for fun, because we need him anyways for the quest. There we go. We got a nice little... Nice little thing going on over here. We'll kill these guys off real quick. Oh, wow. I love the way that looks. Yeah. What's the name of that spell? Um, it is um, Firestorm. I wonder it's a if, fast recast, too. I wonder if you're going to get uh, different elements with that as well. You know, like an ice one or something down the road. I don't know. Oh, hey. Skeleton rune. Yep. Go ahead and decline on that one. If you get the skeleton rune, guys, you don't even have to go into your inventory. You just click on the text in your chat bar, and it will go ahead and open it up and examine it for you. So, hmm, how do you want to do this? You want to pull both of those guys with them? Yeah, um, well, let's do this. You send your pet in, and I will go straight in and firebomb them uh, with my... Um, a uh, free hand sorcery, which is 22% more damage. So it'll knock all of them down pretty fast. All right. And three, two, one. Go for it, pet. Go, little dude. Oh, he's not even going in. There we go. <laughs> you took oh. the main hit on that one, unfortunately. Yeah, and he didn't. Um... There you go. There's the area effect. <laughs> oh, there's actually three mobs back here instead of uh, just two. Wow, that would actually be pretty rough if you were doing this by yourself. A name yep. guy plus three other mobs? Uh, the Actually, the hard part is when we're going to go into the water. Uh, do you remember doing that quest? The one it's down in the... It's actually a three up heroic that we have to fight. No, I don't remember that one. I may have done I it. I'm pretty sure I did. so but... much. Gretz, by the way. Ah, uh, thank you, man. Ah, oh, look at that one. Seven strength, seven agility, eight stamina for the finger? Not yep. bad. Another item that we can uh, transmute there. And there's Ooh. a bracer. Not bad. I'm going to go ahead yep. and hit greed on that one. 
Let's see. We're going to kill that guy a lot. If he drops two things every single time, we're going to have a nice chunk of uh, treasured gear on us. Now, this is yep. what I was kind of interested at on checking out. Because okay, let me make sure I have my spell up. Uh, wow. We got uh, four on one on? side, four on the other side, and I'm one roamer. First person viewed, so I can get out of here without dying. <laughs> um, and I'll drop down first so that they will attack me and then my pet. And then wow, you can jump there's down. Six. There's six. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yeah, there's this is going to Oh, this is going to hurt straight off the bat. <laughs> there's nine There's nine guys down there, four on each side, and then one roamer, so. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Geronimo! Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm climbing on the oh. wall. I'm climbing on the wall. Oh, me too. What in the world? I. This is amazing. <laughs> did not know you could do that. Okay, Spider well. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, I'm down. I'm down. Stinkers. Okay. Stinkers. There we go. Do your oh, area it's effects. It's going to hurt really bad. Oh, can I? I can't even get the spell off. I'm interrupted. Oh, interrupted. man. Come on, let me get my spells. There we go. I'm going to do it on target encounter. Holy crap, you're going to die. You're going to die. I Watch am. your life. Watch your life, man. I can't even... I can't even... Test. Oh, jeez. Yeah, maybe... Maybe the area effect thing wasn't the best idea to do so quickly. Yeah. I might want to let my pet get a little bit of that aggro. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, are you still alive? I'm still alive. My pet's still going, but uh, they, <laughs> they are definitely wrecking me. They're doing a lot of damage here. And I did actually have a spell that I could have healed you and took some of the life away from my pet. I yeah. still don't think we would have been able to do it. No. Oh, well, man. We, well, we could probably have done it if you would have went in first. Uh, because I think I went down first and got all that aggro. Yeah, I think so. And it look, actually looks like we can come in from outside. Like, we don't have to jump down that area and yep. get all those guys at once. And that is probably why we died because we just like jumped in and got every single mob okay so which one did you teleport back to the uh the uh, beach uh, outpost muck. uh no muck oh muck muck, right? okay right. let me teleport mm -hmm. back to that one instead because we are so far away on the edge that uh you know we we had the option of uh teleporting back to the other one so let me go ahead and summon another pet because our last one got wrecked yeah and we are going uh, to... Did you say one of those buffs would um would be enough? Oh, your pet is a whole lot better now. Is he? Yeah, look at him. He's oh, yellow. Oh, so he was uh, he was a low-level guy, apparently, that I hadn't recasted in a while. Because we've been <laughs> we leveling we up. We could have lasted. A little bit longer, yeah. Yep. Let's see, do we have any quests to turn in? Yes. We have At least two one. of them. One upstairs. That one upstairs is to turn into Urgalagarga, blah, boom, or whatever his name is. He's the big uh, Thum dude. And uh, I oh, guess we could do that. We could run through that and try to turn it in. It It's going to, you know, get a lot of aggro for sure, but. Yeah, we probably want to wait on that then. So Hello. We'll turn this one in. Except oh, this it. is for the kitty cats. Uh, we got to get another bracer. Yeah, there we go. What do we got? I need the fangs of. Uh, so we got to kill the queen again regardless. Yep. Okay, so we're going to get some more loot off of that. Let's do that okay. instead, guys. Uh, we're going to yeah. have to uh, check out that temple trying to go in through the bottom. I, I don't think I've ever seen the bottom, so it must be on, like, the backside or something? Yeah, well, it's on the corners. It's So you have um, the ramps going up the centers of each side, and then on the corners of each side is where you go into the center. Oh, okay, and is there anything in that center other than all those mobs? Is there, like, a... a further area down a name that spawns down there or anything nope it's just fun to kill a lot of mobs at one time oh, okay <laughs> and we're gonna wreck those guys again eventually guys yeah. we're gonna we're gonna figure out some method of leveling up here as we go through the quest and we're gonna go back and get some revenge and just uh jump down this time like we should have done i didn't even know you cling onto the walls that is like it threw yeah, me that's... off completely threw me off because i've never done that before is somebody up here I think somebody might be up here. Is it? Uh, I see something going on up here. I thought I saw a person running. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, look at that, guys. Out in the distance. There's the volcano. That is the uh, the city right there. Yeah. So you can kind of see where it is from far away because it's spewing up all that, that dust up there. Ah, there's the queen. So let's wait for Cypher to get here. Are you with me? Oh, I'm already here. <laughs> I'm already, <laughs> already here. No. Nice. And uh, we still have that one Locking guy on us. Down. Oh, yeah. Making sure nobody else steals it. 
No, no, I meant I was rooting it. Stuns target. What's this other spell that I got right here? Throws knockback, and I also have invisibility. Okay. Let's see, scale bracelet, seven wisdom, seven intelligence, seven stamina. Nice. Pretty close. Actually, I already have something just like that, a bangle. Go ahead and breed on that one anyways. Let's see. Need a little help here? <laughs> nah. Do we still need skeletons? I think we do, right? Yeah. We can let's go ahead and get revenge on that on the center mobs. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. And you can see there's a other little outpost out here to the side as well. I don't think I've been in any of those either. So if we don't get to them on the quest, uh, we're going to have to come back, uh, you know, just exploring the map and just see what oh, these yeah. areas have because we'll, I don't I don't want to leave this area until we've, uh, you know, seen everything that there is to see. We'll have to go over there anyway, um, if not um, during one of the quests that we currently have. Uh, we'll get it later to go over there. Right. So let's see. I guess we're going to come up through one of these corners, like yeah, you said. Yeah. Let's go ahead and clear one of the corners, uh, this corner here, and then, then we'll go ahead and go into it. Come on, pet. Do your thing. Oh. Am I locked down? Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. That was the last one that we needed right there. And I think once we clear out the inside here, we probably should do a little pickles and then... And yeah, then, then I think so. Oh, nice. Oh, More loot. Nice. Mm, and Templar. Templar. Well, level 15, no, I'll decline that. I need that. Yeah. It's treasured still. You can definitely go ahead and transmute that as well, and some people will do that for oh, those yeah. items. Okay, how should we do this? Should we get all of them? Um, I'd say send your pit in to the far one, to that sl uh, slain devout, and uh, um, and we'll do this. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, wow. He actually just pulled one. Really? Look at that. He's wrecking that one. Okay, I'm going to pull all of them. Then. My pet doesn't want to do it. I'll do it. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Right. Here I come. Oh wow. Jeez. Oh, Holy you crap. Me, I think. Holy crap. <laughs> you blown. They there took we you go. to half. Yeah, they sure did. Those casters, man. Although you killed a lot of them really fast. There we go. They're all there in here. Go. Watch your life. Make sure you don't get too much aggro. There you go. Oh. Yes. That is how it's done, guys. If only we had two wizards. If you did that twice. There we go again. <laughs> oh, wow. man. Oh, respawn so fast. That is nuts. We just killed these guys. Yeah. Wow, that's going to be really good experience. You come down here with a full group, you could actually just sit down here and kill these guys over and over again. Hey, this would be the proxy group on the server. <laughs> right? <laughs> that is nuts. Oh, skeleton remains. I'll go ahead and hit greed on that one. Wish you could kind of get down there, though. Yeah. Hmm. I guess not. Let's see. Uh, we're, I guess we'll go ahead and end the episode here then, right? Or let's exit yeah. out of this before before they respawn yeah, on our butts. Yeah, let's go the way we came. Oh, yeah. Check out the flying book, guys. Knowledge. Knowledge is power. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please watch AC Gamer. He, uh, he'll, he has so many games. Go ahead and tell him everything that you have coming out. Oh, man. Um, I'll tell you guys a little bit of what I have coming out. We do Star Trek Online. We do Neverwinter, Dungeons & Dragons, uh, Fallout 4, EverQuest uh, 1, EverQuest 2, um, Terratech, Craft the World. Um, those are just a few of the ones that I do. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of different video games, as you guys can tell. And uh, some of them are daily. Some of them are every other day. Uh, I think the least I have is just once a week. I think that one's just uh, Simple Planes is the once a week one. But definitely come out and check them out. I appreciate it, Cypher. Uh, as always, man, it's a pleasure to group with you. Absolutely. Thank you all for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Subscribe.